we know that soil nitrate is very important um, in the soil. It's uh, a source of nitrogen, which is an essential plant nutrient, so it's, it's really uh, important that we have a good handle on how nitrate uh, changes in the soil. And um, it's quite an interesting molecule in the fact that it doesn't really hold on to any of the soil particles. It kind of floats around in the soil solution, which is great as it means it's uh, really available for plants to take up so they can suck it up out of the soil really easily. Um, but it's also really available to um, the soil microbes, which uh, can eat it essentially, or they can, they can use it for certain transformations so they can take nitrate out of the soil, or that nitrate can be washed out of the soil very easily um, uh, in heavy rain and surface runoff. So you have developed some sensors uh, to try and detect changes, or to try and detect changes in soil nitrate. How do your sensors actually work? What are your measures? Yeah, so we've we've um, we've developed some sensors, and um, I've been working at Bang University, and um, the sensors have been developed by a chap called Tony Miller, and he's based in the John Innes Centre in Norwich, and. Um, He's developed these sensors which we can uh, put directly into the soil and we can leave in the soil for a period of time and that will enable us to continually monitor the concentration of nitrate in the soil and how that changes so we can look at how it changes in response to different fertiliser uh, additions, different grazing intensities, uh, weather, all sorts of variables. Um, so hopefully the aim with that is, is that we will be able to use that information to improve fertiliser recommendations, to, uh, to reduce leaching of nitrate into water courses.